here we are, again, in Zorkland, which isn't in the underground. This is some jazzy Zelda, yeah. I'm starting to doubt. Well, not even doubt. I don't know. Okay, real question. Is the waterfall a thing? If anyone knows. That's, that's, I'm kind of, that's like the one I think I'm most iffy about. One of the ones I'm most iffy about. Smooth Lament. I think this is Midness Lament, yeah. Okay, interesting. Good to know. Thank you. So let's head back that way with something. I genuinely wish I had grabbed those snack dip things. I'm not just scooping. Um. Let's get, oh, what could possibly even be a thing? I am hooked on snack dip. I don't know why that didn't work. Maybe it just has to be standalone. That's weird. Um, okay, so we got that. Maybe we'll try the bag of coins again. Get buoy. The load is too heavy. Oh, it has to be at the start of the message. Oh, that makes sense. Gotcha. Should have known. I wonder if I had just not come with the knife if I could have carried the buoy also. I'm so afraid of running into the thief since we still haven't killed him. All right, east. 
So now we're at the shore top of the falls. Hmm. so weird. There was one way, I don't remember exactly what we did, but it like, there's some verb and then it assumes that you're doing that action with the rainbow.
All right, if it doesn't recognize falls, it doesn't recognize waterfall. I think the water that it's looking at is the bottle of water. be something to do with the rainbow especially because I think if we do no maybe not I don't think there's anything that I can do with the boat at the end of the rainbow area, at the bottom of the falls. I don't think there's a place to, um... Oh boy. Sorry, Symphony of the Night. place where we could interact with the rainbow.
think they're about to go over again. Hey, Eric. Happy Thursday. some kind of nudge. So I'm like... I don't feel like I'm... <sighs> able to think long enough on one thing, so I start to try and think about other things, but then I think I'm missing stuff. What do you think you're trying to do? Well, my default thought anytime there's a waterfall is get behind that waterfall, because there's totally a secret there. Um, I don't think that that's necessarily the case. I think it's had something to do more with the rainbow, but I don't know what. I need to like I don't think we're gonna be traveling on the rainbow to do with a rainbow put gold at the end of it activate the rainbow I feel like messing with the dam didn't really do anything with the waterfall. Really? Because you can't, like, catch up to it. Hmm. Make it go away. Sing to it. crosses over the fall so these we're not What it's worth, your clothes? Okay. If I could, like, 
put the timber across the top of the canyon so the sun doesn't shine. Doesn't feel right. Whoops. I can't interact with the waterfall. there's a cavern behind the falls as well not coming from where we shipped off to do we have anything that would Close as in like waterfall close or close as in rainbow close. Maybe it's both. Not sure what you mean by that question. Oh, uh, I don't know either. For what it's worth, I'm close. In what way? Like some of the solutions? Not solutions? Attempts at solutions? Do I need to be poking at the rainbow or the waterfall? Both? Push rainbow. Uh, I feel like those crosswalks. Still. My Canadian Rage. Never played it. It's really fun, but really. A challenge for me. Can you recognize this rainbow and waterfall? That, that probably answers your question. Yeah, I knew that. So it, <laughs> it wasn't really a good question to ask. Man, what do you do with a rainbow? We don't have a pot to put the gold in. We don't have a way to 
Like, so far, everything has kind of made logical sense. If it wants me to, like, climb this rainbow, I'm not gonna understand. I feel like we need to get it to, like, disappear or something. Started messing around with the game, text game engine a couple days ago. These types of games are how I learned to type and read nice. Yeah, they're really good for that. I feel like they'd be good for typing, reading, and, like, well, I guess maybe not writing, but using descriptive words. More partial to Sierra. I don't know, I really like Sierra, but this is the first Infocom game that I've played. This definitely feels less trolly. I the high res adventure Sierra though, um those were painful so far. We still have a couple left to beat. Also the point in the game where things are more challenging and obscure. That's good to know. It makes me feel feel a little bit less bad. Veil of Darkness. I like hearing that and then just seeing the cover. <laughs> yeah, I would. Oh, this looks spooky. Maybe this would be a good like Halloween time game. It's also a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Yeah, I'll have to look into that. I will also add it to the list. Marshall Parsers, but Z1 was my first computer game. Z Zorg 1. I read Zelda 1. I also want to play totally not at all in this real house, but I want to play Deadly Premonition for one of our hello might be one of our Halloween games this year. In Clock Tower. Although I don't know that I'm gonna be able to get a reasonably priced copy of Clock Tower. Deadly Premonition is weird. I've seen part of it on like some YouTube Let's Play, I think, and it seemed pretty weird. But I like, I like weird. Um, big rainbow with shovel. No reason to dig in here. Let's get back to our stuff. I appreciate it. I haven't looked in probably about a year for Clock Tower, to be honest, but it's not so much the not being able to find a copy. It's shit's so expensive right now. <laughs> Everything is so expensive right now. Uh, like a copy of Silent Hill 1 would be so awesome, but man, last time we looked, it's nothing less than like $100. It's crazy. Ugh. This is open. Yep. The things that I think could possibly be used. I don't No. Wait, did I not get any of that? 
Get skull trunk. Wait. Alright, I have a thought, I have a thought. It's not gonna be right. Of course it is. <sighs> I just zoomed out the premonition in the last room didn't go so well. I was having resolution issues. Oh man, it defaults to my first monitor and I wanted to go to my second and I wouldn't. Is there after for Chrono Trigger instead? Chrono Trigger is not a bad backup choice. That is a good game. is stuck in my head for the whole day. <laughs> it's such a good song, but it also kind of makes me sad. Sorry, Gladys. Alright, let me try this real quick. It might be nothing. Oh, whoops. Waiting for that to be a thing. I really like part of me thought that was gonna be our way of getting into Hades, like ringing the bell, holding two candles. Everything's terrified of us. And just, hello, sailor. Everyone dies. That wasn't the solution. Restore. I could probably drop the torch, honestly, because we're about to be in well-lit areas, at least for the moment. Drop the torch. Get bag of coins, and I feel like it's not going to be... The torch is the only treasure that we've used. Granted, we're about to possibly use the canary and the egg once we figure out how to open that safely. So it must be something we can do with just normal items. But what normal item that we have something that would interact with a flippin' rainbow. used okay also what have we not used got a 386 dx 33 the vga monitor dual floppy drives an ibm ps2 along with the whole stack of it sounds like a good year <laughs> that's pretty sweet still playing on a commodore 64 i wasn't here yet. In 91. Close. Um, we have not used the evil rusty knife. We haven't acquired the stiletto yet. We haven't used the bottle of water yet. We haven't used the pile of leaves. Ember lunch. There's uses for the tube of gunk, but we haven't used it technically, but that's okay, I think. The only thing we've done with the lunch is feed the troll, and I think that just the need abates. Get bottle. I'm just, I'm gonna go at this assuming that we can 
accomplish whatever this is with what we have. Whether or not it's in our pocket, but what we have in general. Open bottle. Or water on rainbow. This isn't working very well. Uh, if I could use like burned out lantern as a something. We haven't used that either. I just gotta look at some rainbows, y'all. Sometimes you literally just, I feel like that's something I have to do in this game. I have to Google, get some images, to get some thoughts. Bright costume. Those still exist. Kids know what Rainbow Bright is. Rainbows. Rainbows. What can we do with a rainbow? Nothing. Chase it. Put a pot of gold at the end of it. If you're into meditation, walk through it. Um, obstruct it by changing the light. Right. I had some VHS. I don't know if it was a movie or I think it was a movie. Way back when. But ooh, did I like the colors. <laughs> don't go chasing rainbows. Or do. We used to do that as a young lass. I remember growing up in my hometown and there was a, it had just rained, but there was a fire and they had like just re black topped like part of the street. And my brothers and I went to chase after the rainbow to try and get to, cause you try, you try to get to the end of it. And I didn't put shoes on, <laughs> so like my socks were sticking to the tar. <laughs> Oh, bright child. Bright child I was. My Little Pony and Cabbage Patch Kids. I had some My Little Pony toys, but I wasn't really into My Little Pony or Cabbage Patch. But I think Cabbage Patch and Rainbow Bright, for that matter, were a little before. Maybe. Maybe before? Peak popularity before my time? Maybe. Panasocks, yeah. 
You can play it in the mud. Mud was fun too, man. Picking up rocks and looking at bugs under the rocks. That was my like everyday, everyday joy. Rainbow, what do you want from me? The good old days. You're nuts, game. The arcades. Yeah, I feel like I might be the only you kid. And even at that, yeah, I didn't grow up in the 80s, but we had arcades. We had Donkey Kong at the roller rink. Okay. It does, you know, that's funny, it might be. Uh, Ace Attorney. I think is what it is. 41. Yeah, Ace Attorney. A turnabout jazz soul, maybe a remix. I mean, yeah, you, cause you can still go. A little different, but... Okay, okay. Keep saying that like it's gonna come to me. Okay, Rambo. Uh, um... the manual. Give me some verb suggestions. No! Oh, I closed it. Wait, did I? Yep. Snap. I should have just downloaded it by now. <laughs> oh, this one's different, actually. This one's much more brief. The Undiscovered Underground. That's not the one that, wait, what? The Great Underground Empire, that's what I want. Meant no disrespect. Get out. Yeah, yeah, that was the first one that came up, but that's not that's not what we need. And it was only like four pages long, manual from 1997. <laughs> Get out of here with that. I want all of this stuff. I want all of the maps and the words. I guess <laughs> old farts out. I think it's so cool though, like, with retro games in particular, but any games, honestly, how getting to hear, like, what people enjoyed or disliked in particular and people's experiences with, with these kinds of things. It's a nice side of Twitch. You know? Yeah, I just had like the PDF open of the manual, but it is cool, right? I love, freaking love manuals. Wish more games came with them anymore. Hmm. 
What can you do to a dumb rainbow? Swim is a verb that it's rec that's recognized, but every time I've tried to swim, it gets snooty. Inflate the rainbow. Give rainbow points. Rainbow makes no sound. Shake. Interesting. I wonder if we like shake the egg, you can hear something inside of it. So weird when buying a physical game on Switch or whatever and opening the case and there's just no manual, right? It's just kind of like, <gasps> it's just nothing in there. It's just this little chip. It does cut costs, but man, it's so cool. That's one of the things, so I know I already talked about this the other day, but MJ started playing Tunic and that's one of the like my favorite things about watching him play that game is it has like a little like it's part of the game like a manual built in it that you can open and close and collect pages for and it gives you like little hints and has a map and it's very it reminds me a lot of like a Zelda one kind of manual but it's it's pretty charming. Read the manual in the car at home. I used to read Link to the Past to go to bed. Like. That Link to the Past manual got torn up from how much <laughs> I read it. <laughs> it is, isn't it? It's super cute. It makes my heart happy. Okay, I'm not focusing. Sorry, I'm losing my focus. <laughs> can we do what we need to do with the rainbow with the items that we have acquired? Surely we can, right? Yes. Yes. Positivity. Touch rainbow with torch. Verbs. Had a big manual with backstory and lore and stuff like that. Some of the box art was cool. That's awesome. I was talking about the list of verbs. Yeah. Gabriel and I, oh boy. Throwing you off your game. No, it's okay. I think in a way it kind of helps instead of just like, I think the ultimate games were your favorite, big manual, cloth, map, little metal coins, that's awesome. I haven't played any of the ultimate games yet. So many games that I want to play, but I'll just be playing Zork for the rest of my life. <laughs> so... No, y'all are fine. I should, I should figure out how to poke this rainbow. No, 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 no. Can you walk on water vapor? No, I'm not trying to walk on the rainbow. Why does it keep saying that? I said you tell the truth. 
Move, we tried. Answer, Rainbow. Say hello, sailor. Wave to the rainbow. Wave at rainbow. Wear rainbow. Wake the rainbow. The rainbow isn't sleeping. Tell rainbow to move the fuck out of my way. I think we tried that. Hi, Kamaral. We've definitely tried it. Hmm. Such language. <laughs> no, on the rainbow. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Gotta be close, right? Count the rainbow. Hi, Yaiba. Watch book. <laughs> Happy Thursday. I'm determined. We have to accomplish something. I know we technically did. Like, we, we got the diamond. That's awesome. That's great. I really assault the room. No. <sighs> We're supposed to do Quest for Glory 5 after this before I have to leave. <laughs> but if we can't accomplish something first, then. Also, Quest for Glory 5, we might not even be able to. I'm super sad to say, but we might not be able to actually continue streaming it. It's is too much of a hassle. Um, we've deflate the rainbow. I know, Zork, I know, I don't know. I'm just trying everything. Nothing's making sense. I have a better offense work than anywhere at the start of the stream. Uh, points wise, minus the fact that we're holding on to the bag of coins, but points wise and, and torch wise, uh, light wise, but it's just like. Two things a day is pretty slow, but I'd take it over one. Why is that? can be seen over the falls and to the west. Thought maybe it would make a difference being here instead of there.
Ember is the second heaviest item in the game behind the coffin. Really? That's good to know. Uh, thank you. I don't know, man. I can't follow it. I can't. To slide. So what, like, follow is? Follow rainbow? Zork disagrees. I need to get in the boat, but you can't see the rainbow from anywhere in the boat. All is usually used for NPCs. Oh. Oh, interesting. So we could have like followed the thief. Slide X under in case that's like something we can do with something else somewhere else to slide something under something. That's one person for a bunch of games and I gotta find and expand it. That's a good point. So it might not. Oh, that makes it even more scary <laughs> to depend on anything pattern-wise. nothing behind the rainbow. Look through rainbow. Give. 
the result when you say follow is that you're nuts. Touch the rainbow didn't do anything. I feel like we have tried every verb with just the rainbow. So maybe we need to throw a something in there. I don't know what, but it's something. games like this it is it is a struggle maybe I should leave the rainbow alone for a little while but then I just don't know what the best next thing to do is this is I believe it says Ragnarok online let me one one Ragnarok online I've never heard of it though at least one other puzzle you could be working on. So the rainbow is doable. One other puzzle you could be working on. It's not the granite wall, right? So I believe that it was like a theoretically yes, but in practice, no. Is the other puzzle the canary? Unless the engravings actually are a thing to do something with. I feel so weak. In my brain. Back in the living room. I still don't feel like we've encountered something that's gonna help us open the eggs safely. Or like that we have anything. No delicate tool or person who could do it for us or something. Yeah. definitely helps but then I think my problem is kind of finding the good balance in this game like the the taking a break from a puzzle to to work on something else and then come back with like a fresh brain and pair of eyes but then at the same time sometimes I'll do that and then I'll do it and then I'll do it and I'll do it and then I'm starting to kind of think about like all of these puzzles at once and then I just can't like focus on one well enough to actually get a solution I'm gonna go for the engravings. 
Oops. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> Nudges are okay. I feel like we've, we've never hit a place where I thought we were too... Back CD or spoily. I feel like there have to be nudges, or I'm just not gonna finish this. I am, but not in a reasonable amount of time. And we have, we got Zork two to get to eventually. Is there anywhere on your map that might be incomplete? Besides the falls area? Maybe the land of the dead? That was like the smallest area that we've gone to. I feel like the mines were incredibly straightforward. If that makes sense. Like they were just... I mean aside from having to drop items or whatever, but... They were very going a line. Very linear. Excuse me. Still holding on to this timber, though. And then I guess kind of the under the house area, like where the chimney is and such. You never know. You never know. So it's not just a pile? I was- I felt like that was a nicer thing to do than just leaving a pile of bodies. <laughs> the voice of the guardian of the dungeon booms out from the darkness. Your disrespect costs you your life and places your head on a sharp pole. There's a tour the tour guidebook cut moves here. Uh okay. So everything's a little weird when we're dead, but I don't think that that's a thing that matters right now.
sword isn't glowing anymore. How do we... It doesn't feel like there's any direction to take here. Portable sources of omelets. Wow. I like <laughs> four platypuses. Platypi? Platy platypuses. You're better than you're worth more than that. Don't let Facebook tell you otherwise, platypus. omelet do people eat platypus eggs oh I don't want to know but I gotta know Plat platypodes Exclusive to exclusive to Australia, New Guinea, and Tasmania, the platypus and the echidna are two mammals. And yes, 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 they're definitely not suitable for eating. It's pretty small. You'd need a whole bunch. Well, that doesn't stop us. There's like quail eggs, and do we eat tiny eggs? Platypodes, platypodes. they would not taste very pleasant after meeting a female. Oh, they're so cute! Oh, we'll lay one to three eggs following a 21 day gestation period. Oh, no, yeah, don't eat platypus eggs, that's not a thing. Oh my god, they're cute! Oh, oh, phone buzzing. Since it's Greek. Mm, sir. Platypuses or platypi. Past the rainbow? No. I got stuck. Platypi. <laughs> got too stuck at the rainbow and then I got distracted by talking about platypi. A plate of pie. Um, Land of the Dead feels unfinished. But it also feels like there are no other exits. Up, down, northeast, northwest, southeast, southwest, south, east, west, north, south. This feels like a dead end. I feel like, ooh, hello. I feel like we tried all the directions in the mines because I was thinking, like, I noticed that it felt very linear comparatively.
I'm gonna be listening to it. I feel like I'm gonna go crazy. The Land of the Dead End, yeah. Like the library or something. Um, like the damp cave has a small exit, but it's too small. Somewhere else has one of those. The stream view. You think it's a library too? Let's see. That's either the library or like the first pillory. No. Let's see, 122. Dance of the Pales. That's like the area with the tables. Can we do anything with the... If you're close to the end, so you're running out of puzzles to work on. Is there anything to do with the engravings other than read them? I don't know if that would do, but that's kind of an empty room, I guess, otherwise. But then it's right before the dome room. Engravings are not a puzzle, okay. Good to know. I mean, we still haven't opened the wooden door in the living room, but I'm starting to think maybe it opens once we have all the treasure or something. Um, that thief is still out here somewhere in the save. doesn't have enough existing in the world to pick up anymore, I guess, but... I wonder if it's just as simple as not for anything important, but... No, wait. for most insects. Oh, 
thought maybe I could like connect the shore or the sandy beach in this area with the the timber. The attic was also very dead end endy, but there were items there, and it was kind of like the first dark room. Chimney? What does that mean? Let's do chimney. Still don't have anything that I feel like would help us get up the chimney. Like these were kind of empty. There's a treasure here, but it was just there. are splattered with paints of 69 different colors. Why does that matter? Some more water. Brainstorm a little bit. Try to solve at least like one more thing. <laughs> um Yeah, so we're gonna take a little break, get up, move, stretch, get some water, do whatever you gotta do, uh, and we'll be back in just a couple of minutes. 